Mainland Saga Season 2, Episode 16. Right, they show up looking for a garter and destroy their bedroom in the process. Jerks. And salt our interior design while they're at it. Yeah, just throw out throw out my pillow. I don't need that to sleep. Yeah, I'm unclear about this. Is this him sleeping or? It's a different snake entirely. Different snake entirely. Episode 16, great purpose. Seriously. Got big news for you. About that. He's following the same impulse that Arnid was following last episode. Speaking of personal danger, following your impulses. There's destiny here for Aener too. Luckily Thorfinn's got his back. Is that her? So Arnid separated from Garter and is laying low? Maybe she put Garter somewhere to rest up. I was expecting like a full-fledged escape attempt. I guess they're using her as bait. It's very honest of her to admit that to them. Sounds like a plea. She's just in way over her head. Now we're all filled in. She figured it out. Wow, that dishwashing action from Thorfinn. Text level. Is there anything this man can't do? Right, he got stabbed. Oh, that's interesting. It makes sense why she would want to come here. But then where is Garter? Got stabbed right in the chest. Whoa. Wow, so he's right here. It's like Parasite. This is even a, a bigger confession to these two than I first thought. Really trusting them. Einer's operating by the same thing, though. I mean, of course she went. He's not the same person. He's kind of gone. For now, I mean... Man, poor Arnie. She's sitting here washing dishes, imagining Garter bleeding out just a few feet away. Liner, well, you wanted to help, right? That's the question. That's a, a huge question, but it's it's basically you got to make a choice one, one way or the other with eyes open. Right. There's no like halfway on this. Even though it's kind of the same same thing, same stated aim from Aner, this feels a little more sound, more calm, more clearly thought out.
and they're risking a lot for her. And for one brief moment, she's not totally alone in all this, as she has been for episodes upon episodes. Sverkel also knows. He still might, you never know. His past is still a huge mystery. I guess I never talked about it. They had such a good dynamic, but they, it seems like they never had these kinds of discussions. Oh. That's actually really sweet. This feels like real concern. Yeah, but that's not why, obviously. Shit. <laughs> He's hitting a nerve. Little do they know, this is all about to become Knut's farm. That's Thorfinn. Or Einar. Man, they're really rolling the dice with this plan. They they have pretty good standing. They got freedom around the corner, they think. Snake's no chomp either. He'll, he can sniff it out if it goes wrong. Good luck, Aner, for real. <laughs> Thankfully, he's in amazing shape from all that lumberjacking. <laughs> Snake feels a little bit blinded by by anger here, not even leaving a lookout. I think Sprinkle's good. Yeah, I don't think there's any debt here. He's already so involved. And he has nothing to lose. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good luck, man. Try not to run three horses. Yeah, probably doesn't have long. And there we go. Sniffing it out. Came to his senses a bit. Man, it really feels like Thorfinn and Aenor are all in, ready to bear the consequences of this for her. <laughs> what happened to his horse? Oh, it's, it's deliberate. This went horribly wrong. This is like is this Thorf Thorfinn's first test? This test for Snake as well. Of his character. Yeah, it's uh, It sounds credible, but I feel distinctly that Snake does not want a confrontation with Thorfinn. I suspect, even though we don't know anything about his past, he's had similar issues, similar problems or moral qualms with Thorfinn. Having experienced a lot of the same things, he just hasn't refined his answer or solution as well, or as clearly. Hey, look who it is! This is a taunt. This is a taunt and a test. That's the thing. That was so well put. Honestly, like, it's extra impressive because the extent to which he's taking this, there's a pretty far cry between what Thorfinn was and what he was doing and what he's vowed never to do again. And like fighting Snake non-lethally. To be questioning it to this level is something else. But that's his conviction, right? That's what he told himself. Asklad is sort of right to taunt him via his own subconscious. That's the whole doubt of the whole thing. Is okay, fine. You don't want to use violence for your ends. What the hell are you going to do then in times where other people are prepared to use conflict and violence? Damn, but I wasn't expecting that. Did he deliberately throw that punch or miss that punch? 
Feels like it could have hit him. So much focus on hands this episode. Good for knives. There it is. There's a connection between the two of them though, I, I just feel it. Thorfinn's using a, a knife stance to fight without knives. Snake went out of his way to subdue Garter first, before he was on this kind of rage-fueled rampage. He used the blunt end of his sword to knock him out. Other people in this world, in this in this story, would have just killed him and thought nothing of it. So Snake is, a, in some sense, he's a reachable peer. He's there, maybe, but Thorfinn's work is cut out for him. But I strongly suspect that Thorfinn wins out here, if, if only due to the difference in his conviction when compared to Snake. He's way more convicted in, in saving Garter peacefully than Snake isn't killing him. I'm loving this Garter saga. It came out of nowhere and it's been a really pleasant surprise, right as I was expecting Canute to just land. It's great on its own, but it also feels like it's kind of a warm-up and a test for Thorfinn. This is his first real confrontation after forming these new ideals. And that's really the test, right? Like anybody can be idealistic. How many times have I told myself I'm going to do something or not do something only to reverse that at some point when it became challenging? It's going to get way harder than this, speaking of Canute. Interestingly, he seems prepared to fight. I'm not really sure what to make it that or like how far he's willing to go in terms of physical force. It felt a little bit to me like it was a feint. It wasn't really his intention to strike Snake. I think he could have if he wanted to. Though honestly for me, even fighting non-lethally is already a pretty huge step in the right direction. Like for me, you could call it there and I'd be like, okay, that makes sense. It's also a parallel to Thor's, right? I mean, Thor big battle, fatal battle on the boat. He was using non-lethal force. Maybe the iteration for Thorfinn is using like fake force, but he's stepping up. I mean, this is not the man that we know or have seen. It's turned from despair, deep despair, and existential hell into thought, into a vow, into action. And going on some of the things I was thinking about last episode where, you know, Thorfinn's perhaps seemingly tiny vow to Let's make a community of misfits who have a place in the world and where Viking violence doesn't rule or isn't the ultimate end-all be-all of life actually is huge in the fact that it's the good he can do. Garter is one person. It's one life and Garter hasn't exactly proven himself to be the most sound, reasonable, peaceful person himself. Yet here Thorfinn is sticking up for him. Some of that might just be this chain where he's supporting Einar, who's supporting Arnid, who's supporting Garter. But I feel like it's more than that. I feel like it's actually his commitment to just helping somebody in need and also a deeper understanding that hasn't really been articulated but is there of just recognizing humanity in others even people who may not be allies or friends and he's willing to risk everything for that here he is on the verge of freedom after years of slavery he doesn't know anything about the the canoe takeover so in his mind he's just waiting for kettle to get back to be free yet he'll risk it all for somebody who needs help i can't understate how significant that is. It just feels so rare, uncommon, and high level. And if all goes well, not only is this a moral victory for Thorfinn, but it could actually mean a chance of survival for Arnid and Garter, who, let's face it, plan is not the soundest or strongest. If Snake can be convinced and Thorfinn is pretty credible and pretty convincing, there is a chance that Garter and Arnid just walk out of here peacefully.